Mic check. Mic check one, two, three. Three, two, one. How copy over. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, welcome in. This is Nuclear Salmon. Hope everybody's doing well. How is everybody doing? Take a trip down here. Alright, so for let's see, what do we got for large tractors here? Large tractors, older style. We do have a tiger, Steiger Tiger, or the case. We got one of those actually. Um, let's see what else could we use? That's all we got really. That's all we got. Sounds good. It's working. Okay. Um, I'm thinking about doing something here, Brennan. I'm not sure. It's not going to take that long to do what I'm doing here. So, I'm just going to do it real quick. End the series. See, there's Traction King here. He is the Traction King. So it's got... 300 horsepower on it. Put some Michelins on there. Go with wide tires, I guess. Clear windows, wheel weights. Yeah, we'll do wheel weights. Beacon lights, front weights here, rim color, do white. see the new harvester holds 653 bushels nice uh, let's see okay so for bale technology bale loaders here this one all right new tractor New piece of equipment here. Gonna go load up some bales. And then we'll have to see. That's 1150 horsepower, nice. Yeah, I think uh, Ridiculous Dominic was working on that to begin with, and then um, he ended up having to essentially give it up, let someone else do it. So that's who that's who got it. Was uh, not familiar with that name actually. I forgot the name of the, the guy too. But, yeah, it looks pretty cool, though. Maybe in the future we can get some uh, updates to it, you know, do some different stuff with it. Um, don't get me wrong, the harvester looks awesome. It does look pretty cool. But I'm pretty sure you're able to, like, fertilize and maybe even cultivate with that thing. If I'm not mistaken. Dog face wanting, okay. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations to Dogface modding there. I did watch uh, DJ Goham's video on it this morning, so that's where I got all the info I know about it.
So we will be ending this series today, everybody. This will be the end of the series today. And, uh... See, I might just go work on a silver run after this. I'm not sure. Just do some uh, work. Because what I'm going to do here is sell off. Sell off the, uh... Straw, so let's see how long it takes us to sell the straw here. So, happy Friday to everybody! Happy Friday! Anybody got plans for today? Any plans for Friday or this weekend? You guys up to anything this weekend? So just to recap, we ended the CCO Security map, that was that Brazilian map did a cotton harvest to end it. Um, let's see what else did we do. We did Westbridge Hills. We ended the Westbridge Hills series. That one's done. Hey, Mr. T-Bone. Welcome in, buddy. How's Mr. T-Bone been doing? Good to see you. So, Westbridge Hills, Seashell Security, and now UMRV will be done today. Those are three series knocked out. Appreciate that, Mr. T-Bone. Thank you, buddy. Oh, nice. Yep. Sun's ball and working on a logging map. Nice. Sweet, sweet. Go down here. All right, we do have a lot of bales to pick up. <laughs> There's quite a bit. No, I missed that one. Makes it easier to do it like this, so instead of coming out here with a uh, bell for contractor.
There go stream elements finally. Stream's waking up. Oh come on. There we go. Probably should have kept the regular size wheels on here. Alright, so this only holds 14. Let's fly down here real quick. These cell points are going to come in handy right here. Put cell points down here. Oh, it's not going to sell. Hey, Benji. How's Benji doing? Welcome in. Push them over there. Start loading Yeah, I got an idea. Hold on. This is one of my fun maps, so got all the all the good the goodies on here. Yeah, we're stacking bales, stacking bales. How come I can't pick nothing up here? Oh.
doing great getting ready to test the WSVS getting ready to do the test testing oh that's the uh That's, is that the new harvester? WSVS? There we go. Alright, back to the straw, picking up hers. This is my uh, quicker picker upper for the bales. What's up with my tractor? Stuck in first there. Saw it on the Mod Hub. I immediately downloaded it to be honest. I didn't think it would make it to FS. Saw some real life videos of it. Yeah, the real life videos look pretty cool. I've seen some of the harvesting videos of it. I think it'd be pretty cool for, um, for like, you know, guess whatever you want to use it for. <laughs> <clears throat> This uh, tractor keeps getting stuck in first for some reason. Not sure why. Whoops. Eh, I should have not put these uh, duels on here. Making it just a little tricky. Oh, it's at 100%. It's like, how come I didn't pick that one up? Blank map? Nice. Yeah, that'd be a good map for it.
All right, let's head back up here. Cool thing is you can you can go at 27 miles an hour. However fast your tractor goes, that's how fast you can collect them at. Hey, Outlaw Custom Ag, welcome in. Hey, 5 Gen. Welcome in, 5 Gen. Yeah, the day's been going pretty good so far, actually. Um, we're getting excited for tomorrow. We're taking a day trip. So, that will be fun. Gonna have a barbecue tomorrow. Probably some uh, hot dogs and hamburgers. Hopefully the weather stays good. It's like 62 already and sunny. But tomorrow it's supposed to be a little bit cloudier. Possibly a little bit rainy at times, but hopefully during the day it gets some sun breaks. No, it keeps going like one more over every time I push it. <laughs> push it, push it, push it real good. Luckily there's a toolbox right here. off there we go that will probably work a little bit better You have your harvester doing lentils? Nice. What map is that, Ronnie, that you're playing on? It's got lentils on it. It's 84 degrees where Benji's at. Outlaw's doing good, just waiting for MRG to release update for Medicine Creek. Nice. Fifty four there in Kansas, nice. Yeah, I guess it warmed up pretty good for us this morning. Um, because it was sixty at like nine o'clock. So that's pretty good for us. 
I know down in the south it can get to 90 pretty quick. <laughs> like before noon. Thirty six Fahrenheit and snow flurries here in northwest Wisconsin, nice. Seventy five earlier this week, jeez. That's a that's a cool down. See, hey nuclear, if you had to use the round bales, if you had used the round bales at 180 diameter, you'd fit more and you get more bales sold. Yeah, I do. I have the round baler, and I have the round baler pickup wagon too. Round bale pickup wagon. But I just decided to go with square bales because it was going to be easier to bale everything. Instead of using a round bale, you have to stop, let the bale out, let it close. Square baler, you just you don't have to stop baling. The bales just fall out the back. Twenty-one thousand a pop at a hundred and eighty diameter for straw bales. These are, um, let's see. These are 400 kilogram, 8,250 liters. If you buy the bills in the store here. Oh, you can't get different size fills, so. I think there's a mod for different size fills, though, if you want to.
Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, these are just standard size fails, I guess. I don't know, I'll show you the bailer I used. I thought about using that has some big bailer. New Montana map looks really good. What map is that? Frank? What's the name of that map? I want to see, I want to maybe play that, uh, um, is it Poor Boys, North Dakota map that's coming out, should be coming out soon, and Crater Lake's getting an update or coming out, one of those two, Crater Lake's good, I like Crater Lake. There's a lot more you can do on it too. Uh, 50 got the John Deere 50 foot header on her nice Ronnie So, 
It would have been cool if there was like a three point attachment somewhere on it. But that's okay, you know. Because then you could do some really crazy stuff with it. So pretty much, uh, if you guys haven't uh, stayed tuned to this uh, series here on UMRV, this is Upper Mississippi River Valley, made by uh, DJ Modding. It's a four times map. Based up in uh, Iowa. At least I'm on the Iowa side. Iowa side of the river here. I think the other side is... Was, was it Michigan or Wisconsin? One of those. <laughs> I forget. I have to look at a map. So basically this uh, series here, um, we inherited a small farm, well, we inherited like a shell of a large farm, there wasn't any, any uh, real equipment or chickens, animals, so it's a chicken farm, see those four barns over there? So pretty much we got the money from our uncle to build those barns. So we built those barns. No chickens in them. Uh, we built the farm there with that money too. So pretty, pretty much had to pay all that money back and build up to a sustainable chicken farm. Well, we only had to pay back 200000 so I think what I'm going to do with this series is whatever money I have left, I'm going to sell everything off and uh, write down how much money I got and for like an, a series in the future maybe, I'll take that money that I got in the bank there and we'll role play it like, you know, we moved off this farm and we're move into another farm somewhere maybe we get into like a different type of business maybe get back into chickens who knows be on a different map oh this is full that's why <laughs> this is full I need to watch uh, some great videos. How to do grapes. No, come here.
Uh, I think these wheels <laughs> did some damage to that 300 horsepower this tractor has. It's not getting that power to the ground. <laughs> That took off the wide wheels, put these um, these wheels on here. These look like uh, fertilizing wheels. <laughs> Alright, got a few more here. This would have been good for the straw harvest pack, but yeah, I'm not using that. Sell this. I have one more field to do. Hope everybody's having a great Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday to you. Hope you're having a great Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Boom, 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 boom. It's Friday. Appreciate y'all coming in. Watching Nuclear Salmon. Be sure to drop a fuel rod in the reactor down below if you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. You guys got suggestions for maps you want to see, maybe, potentially? Be sure to drop comments on the streams or videos. Let me know what you guys are wanting to see, maybe, potentially. I'm thinking, I don't know why, I'm thinking like my thing's like dairy farming it. I'm thinking like that's what, that's what my thing is. I like I like dairy farming so I'm thinking about doing like maybe a dairy farm again big dairy farm maybe some pumps and hoses action going on so maybe find a map for that what would be a good map for that All right, let's call this field good. Let's head out this way. Got one more field to do. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, Aurelian. I think that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna drag it out again. 
I'm gonna drag it out of the shed. Pumps and hoses. Drag them out of the shed and uh, put them together and see what happens. <laughs> no, you got one more bale. Did I? Hold on here. Where's his bail at? Where's the bail? Mr. Bail? Who missed a bail? Far side. Uh oh. I don't see it. I think it's one of these black spots right here. That's okay though. Hey Dell the Gamer, welcome in. <laughs> I still got this flatbed up here. Alright, let's put another cell point up here. Because we like to cheat. We like to cheat today. Just today. Good news, I'm starting, slowly starting to feel better now. Obviously still sick, but, whoa, whoa, whoa. Obviously still sick, but getting there. Huh. Yikes, must have been really something. Alright, get these last two down here. Oh, bad throat infection. Well, good you're getting better. That's good. Goes the airplane. Let me back in. Let me back in. Oh, it's not even letting me in with that one. Boom, boom. Yeah, those usually do the trick. Okay, 
probably got two or three more here to go. Trailers full. So yeah, appreciate everybody watching this series. If you guys want to recap the series, watch it again. There's uh, numbered episodes in the playlist there for you to watch. So I think it was uh, 20 numbered episodes and then there's uh, like 26 or 27 videos in there total. I had some pretty bad uh, allergies Monday. It was terrible. There's a bale right there though we gotta remember to get in the shade. Just hanging out over there chillaxing in the shade. Go get that bill. We don't get it now, we're gonna forget it. <laughs> or Aurelian will remind us. <laughs> the one bill that got away. That's why. Hold on here. That's why my resolution in YouTube was at 480. Yeah, you should be able to do a 1080. Should be able to. Let's see, what is my phone in here? My phone's at 482. 1080p 60. Usually, you know, my, my phone usually is at 180 for some reason. It's like always set to 180. Maybe that was my old phone. Last couple bales up here. That 
do another check here. Make sure. Don't see any bills in the tree line here. Yep. Looking good in the neighborhood here. Oh, it's set to 480. Or it was auto set to 480. Alright, so we're done, everybody. We are done. Let's go ahead and pull off to the side here. We'll have somebody come on. We'll just put a for sale sign right here on the tractor. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's uh, take a quick uh, fly around everybody. So we had a field down here. This was our third field here. Looks kind of cool with the tire tracks to it. Uh, we had... This is our second field. This one right here. This is our chicken chicken barn here, everybody. Chicken barns, chicken farm. Take one last screenshot of that. See, there's my round baler, Aurelian. <laughs> so yeah, we got 20,000 chickens. There's 5,000 chickens in each of these barns here. 5,000 in here. 5,000 in here. 5,000. 5,000. And so we started with uh, just chickens in this barn right here. You guys go back and watch the episodes. We started in just this barn with chickens. We put some uh, chickens in this barn and let them reproduce. And once we got to like a thousand chickens or like two thousand chickens, we started putting like five hundred in each of the barns. So we had five hundred chickens in each barn or something like that. We ended up putting them, spreading them out. And uh, show you guys what we use to carry them. We use these things right here. Chicken coop. So we had more of these. We had like, had like four or five of them. I thought. I don't know where they went. Must be hiding somewhere. But yeah, made lots of money on the uh, chicken eggs here. Lots of money. So if you guys are looking for a uh, um, good way to make money, chicken eggs. You know, you get these, uh, industrial coops. They hold 5,000 chickens. They, they're like European Union or something like that. They're from Europe. You guys can see that there. But that's like just one little corner. So, this was like an American farm. So, you know, these kind of do look, you know, this wouldn't be out of, uh, touch with what you could find on an American farm. Um, these style barns for chickens so that's kinda what I went for here was an American style chicken farm uh, commercial chicken farm you know like supplying lots and lots of uh, eggs here so we we're supplying the local grocery stores of the state supplying all those chicken eggs there and yeah so this was the main farm I guess you could call it you know the, the actual farm and we had a little back 40 here, little back area field that we uh, had got some barns in here this is our fairly new uh, 9190 Case International here and the cedar set up 2400 and the drill there, air tank and drill so yeah, it was a pretty nice uh, 
series. I enjoyed it. I liked the. Uh, I I really like the kind of starting, uh, kind of struggle start, and then once you do get enough money, it's really rewarding to get this kind of stuff like upgrading the equipment. You know, some of this equipment it's nice. This is some of the upgraded equipment. Just to get some uh, feed fast, you know. This has got some good horsepower on it, so. Handles a lot better on the hills and all that. And we had our combines in here. We started out with the New Holland. We did uh, one or two harvests with just the New Holland here, so it was definitely a struggle. <laughs> um, this last harvest was the first harvest we did with the... Uh, with the two com with two additional combines, so three combines total. Can I buy a pallet of eggs from you? <laughs> Thanks a lot for the eggs. <laughs> right, that's a lot of chicken feed and eggs. Yeah, that's uh quite a bit of chicken feed. Um, yeah, if you get one of the discount, like you can role play it like buying in bulk. So and that's pretty cool. I like those. Like Gaming Joy has a <clears throat> has a silo you can buy at a discount and I think uh, also 82 studios I'm not sure if it has a discount or not but those uh, silos you can use to just feed the feed the chickens if you don't have enough grain but yeah so that's it everybody we're gonna start selling everything off here Let's see least items we get rid of that owned items we had a few tractors down here we got in the barn. Fourteen fifty five XL International there. We got the field boss here. White farm field boss there. That's what I used to bale the straw. John Deere one hundred baler. And then before we were using this, uh Kloss Roland sixty six. That's not a bad baler, but just a lot faster to build this. A lot faster. And we had 163,000 liters of uh, wheat in here. So, first, before I sell that, let's. Uh, Let's put that there. Let's sell off this wheat real quick. I wonder if I can do this. Nice. There's a little trick for you. <laughs> Unless it goes up too Yeah, it went up too far. <laughs> Almost got it. Kind of see what I was trying to do there. <laughs> Auction time, right, Brennan? Auction time. get some of our money back here. Boom, 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 boom. 
There we go. Over a million dollars now. Twenty-three thousand left. Let's see, be able to get that should be this twenty-two thousand now. Yeah, twenty-two thousand. all the wheat gone. Bum, bum, bum. Sell everything. <laughs> is that coming up in placeable buildings though? <laughs> That's not. You can't sell this stuff because it's uh, it's uh, placeables. So why is it coming up in that? this soon. Oh, straw bales. <laughs> There's two bales left. Oh no, Aurelian. You messed up. Oh, there's animals in there. We can't sell it. Whoops. Looks a little bit different now. Sell your fields, yeah. If we can. You know what's weird is I didn't know you owned all this stuff up here. It's kind of weird. Two, I'm not going to sell that because that's like adding two million dollars to it. Sell that land. I got placeables on there. I can't sell that one yet. It's got placeables on that one. I can't sell the chicken barns because they got animals in them and I can't sell this. Because of this right here. Alright, two million six hundred and thirteen thousand dollars. That's how much our farm was worth. Nice. Two million six hundred and thirteen thousand three hundred and twenty seven. So when we start a new farm somewhere, I'm not saying that we are, but like I think this will be a cool idea to do in the future sometime. 
We start a new farm with this much money. And, uh, yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool. Role play it like we came, we uh, moved off of this farm and we're moving on to a new farm. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's it from, uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed the series, like I said. Go check out the playlist if you guys want to recap on it. You guys want to rewatch it, start up um, the series for the first time. Whatever you guys want to do. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that fuel rod down below. If you guys did not enjoy it, you guys can add a uh, cracked fuel rod to the reactor. Might cause meltdown, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, if you if you didn't like it, drop a comment down below and uh, tell me how I can be better next time. What I can do better next time. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep it salty fresh, everybody. This is Nuclear Salmon. <laughs>